Barnes Plastic Welding Equipment Limited presents Book Fusion Welding using the SP160 machine. Firstly, connect the hydraulic couplings to the back of the machine. Check your welding parameters. Next, test the hydraulics are running smoothly. Then remove the top clamps from the machine and put in the selected reducing inserts for the correct millimetre size of your pipe. Next, secure the clamps in place. Do this finally by tightening up with a box spanner. Next, fit the face cutter into the machine. Lock this in position at the back using the locking bar to avoid the face cutter jumping out whilst in use. The face cutter will rotate and take a slither off the edge of each pipe to square the pipes up. Remove the swarf, making sure that you do not touch the surface of each pipe. Check for alignment where you are allowed 10% of the wall thickness of the pipe. Next. Place a heating element in between the two pieces of pipe, obviously checking first that the temperature is set correctly for the type of material you are about to weld. Also check the welding parameters to make sure what pressure you should be putting the pipe under. Once you have a visual check of the bead, you will drop the pipe pressure to the soak time. Set the timer Once you've set this, wait for the time to elapse and the alarm to go off When the welding cycle is finished, remove the heating plate and put the pipe under pressure once more Once the pipe has cooled, remove it from the machine. Other pipes and fittings may be welded, such as flanges, elbows. These can be done by removing certain clamps and putting in certain devices, such as a stub flange clamp. As you can see, it's quite easy to weld both tees and stubs with this machine. The SP160 machine, all you'll need for welding pipes and fittings of 